Airborne bogey acquired. Viper is a member of the Apex Predators and a supporting antagonist in Time for 2. He dons a helmet that covers his facial features throughout the game and utilizes a heavily modified North Star chassis which allows him to own the skies for very long periods. As a mercenary, not much was known about his past or his present standing in the world of Timefall, and even after his death from so many years ago, we still don't know a lot about him, but as of recently in the Apex Legends, we finally get a glimpse in his past and how his one child has decided to carry on the legacy of Viper in the new games. But let's first go back a bit and look at when he was still alive and dangerous to Cooper, BT and the militia forces. Viper's first and only presence in the war was on the Battle of Typhon, protecting and escorting the Ark to the IMC airfield housing the transport vessel IMS Draconis. He is later seen along with Sloan in the hangar of the ship prior to his emergency takeoff and the militia invasion to stop the device from going airborne. It is from here we finally encounter Viper, who is in his highly modified North Star, who then takes out squadrons of militia crew pilots with ease while also weaving and dodging in between fire. At this point, he would fire a volley of missiles at Jack Cooper and BT, causing them both to fall through the sky and land onto a dropship piloted by Barker. While both BT and Cooper will work their way to get closer to the IMC transport ship and gaining some help along the way from the 6-4, Viper will continue to battle against the militia air forces, eventually making his way to the IMS Malta in order to stop BT and Jack reaching the Draconis. The two pilots would then engage in a fierce battle on the outer hull of the battleship, with Viper showing off his air superiority and easily hitting BT in areas that he thought he may be safe. Ultimately, Jack and BT win and land a critical damage to Viper's Titan. With the two believing Viper's dead, they proceed with their current objective, only for Viper to then return and push them both off the ship and into the sky once again. They would land aboard the hull of the Draconis and engage in a frantic melee with Cooper helplessly trying to get BT before it's too late. BT would tackle Viper, who would in turn activate his thrusters and plow BT back into the ground and staggering him. Viper would then rip off BT's arm, but then he would have his own hat shot off by the Titan as a last ditch effort of fighting back. With the cockpit now exposed, Viper would then be shot and finally killed by Cooper, causing his Titan to fire off a volley of missiles that would impact the Draconis and cause it to lose altitude. Having been shot at, Viper was left for dead on the crashing Draconis, and from there, that was the last time anyone saw the Merc ever again. Now, since then, many players have theorised that Viper could actually be alive and survive the destruction on the planet by being rescued at the last moment by a squad of IMC soldiers, or being rescued by an unknown force who turned him into a simulacrum because of his injuries, or even simply surviving the shot he received and made his own way off the planet. However, this theory has been put to rest in the recent Valkyrie introduction for Apex Legends. From the recent trailer, we actually get to see Viper's face finally with his family. We also briefly get a glimpse as to how Viper tells his own daughter that he has to take on this one more mission before retiring for good, which eventually foreshadows the Battle of Typhon and his timely death. After the events of Time of 2 and the overall ending of the war, we get to see a more grown up Valkyrie, who decides to enter the Apex games to bring honour to her father, and also make use of Viper's Titans parts as part of her own gear to fight back. Now we will cover her story at a later date once we get a bit more information around her, but for the time being, this is the story and lore of Viper. Voodoo 1, out. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter. Keep up to date with Destiny and Titanfall 2 content if you do that type of stuff. Link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.